with liberalization of the economy coming in and the enormous expansion of the private sector, certainly an increasing number of young people are looking towards that. Concomitant to the shift, there's a change in their um, qualifications required. For example, there's much more important these days to go for an MBA than for an MBBS or to pick up uh, computer literacy as compared with some other literacy. So this shift also has brought about a change in the aspirational context for getting new kinds of skills and training. The aspiration of the youth was seen in terms of what they can contribute to. The term used was nation building. Today nobody is talking about nation building. The whole question that is asked is, what can I get from the society? You need certain uh, level of uh, material uh, uh, conditions, uh, needs met in order to be happy. But that threshold should need not be very high. But today, the problem is what is called the demonstration effect, or sociologists will say a reference group behavior. I see others are doing in such and such a way. Uh, well, ordinarily, people will start with, used to start with a, a small Maruti car. Today, your aspiration is to get into the BMW. But when you want to demonstrate to others that you are rich, without no rhyme or reason, then that's what is usually called consumerism. And then that creates difficulties and uh, that affects everybody. So that gives a kind of a dissatisfaction. And that dissatisfaction has nothing to do with the level of materiality. They have enough, but they want much, much more. And therefore, I would say uh, it is this structure of aspirations going in a wrong direction, uh, which creates a lot of problems. So the whole purpose therefore should be to ask the question, what can I give to the society rather than what can I get from the society?